House Judiciary Committee Chairman Jerry Nadler misinformed as to the facts concerning Robert Mueller's upcoming testimony before his committee. Nadler blasted the Justice Department for its letter instructing Mueller to limit his testimony to the boundaries of the public special counsel report. Attorney General William Barr today said it's Mueller who asked for those guidelines. Well, as you know, at his press conference, uh, Bob had said that he intended to stick with the public report and not go beyond that. And in conversations with the department, uh, his staff was reiterating that that was their position. And they asked us for guidance in writing uh, to, uh, to explain uh, or to tell them what our position was. So we responded in writing. The department sent the guidance they had requested. And Robert Mueller, it turns out, will have someone joining him at the uh, witness table during tomorrow's Judiciary Committee hearing. It will be Aaron Zebley, a longtime aide and counsel to Mueller, who served on Mueller's special counsel team. President Trump has, by the way, just now reacted to all of this on Twitter, saying this, quote, just got back only to hear of a last-minute change allowing a never-Trumper attorney to help Robert Mueller with his testimony before Congress tomorrow. What a disgrace to our system. Never heard of this before. Very unfair. Should not be allowed. A rigged witch hunt. The president's words tweeted out just moments ago. Our next guest here tonight says you shouldn't get to change rules right before the uh, beginning of a, uh, of a hearing, especially after a 22-month, $30 million investigation. Joining us tonight is Congressman Jim Jordan of Ohio, member of the House Judiciary Committee, House Oversight Committee, and the Freedom Caucus. Congressman, great to have you with us. You too, Lou. You agree with the president? Uh, no, Zebley he, he, showing yeah, he's up. A He's 100 percent right. You don't get to change the rules 10 minutes before kickoff. That's what they're doing. Uh, even Secretary Clinton, when she testified for hours and hours in front of the Benghazi committee, Cheryl Mills wasn't sitting beside her. This, this just shows the, the lengths that Jerry Nadler will go to get after this president. It's, it, I mean, it's all about trying to, trying to stop, the, stop President Trump. This is ridiculous. This, Zebley was his chief of staff. Zebley was a partner of his at Wilmer Hill. Zebley even represented the person who set up Hillary Clinton's server. In, I mean, so, and yet he's going to be right there front and center. And the president's exactly right. I have never seen this in my 12 and a half years in Congress. Well, one thing is very, uh, very positive in this is there should be no doubt in anyone's mind uh, what uh, Mueller is, what Zebley is, and wh the fact that, as the president has said from the outset, this has been a, a witch hunt, a partisan witch hunt from the very beginning. And he has much to answer for. Are you going to be able tomorrow to ask uh, Zebley and his client, uh, Robert Mueller, uh, the, the important questions. Oh, well, yeah, we are. And, uh, my questions are going to be directed direct, uh, to uh, Robert Mueller. They're not going to be to Aaron Zebley. In fact, I, I want Robert Mueller to answer I the said questions. it that way for your benefit. Yeah, his, his, his name is the, is the, he's the, he was the special counsel. He did the 22-month investigation. But this just underscores something. In spite of the fact that you had 19 Democrat lawyers out to get the president, they still found nothing, no collusion, no obstruction. And remember, it wasn't just the 22-month investigation that Bob Mueller did. For 10 months prior to that, from, they opened this investigation July 31st, 2016. Yes, they go 10 months. When we deposed Jim Comey, uh, uh, when we deposed him after he had been fired, he said up until the point he was fired, they still didn't have anything. So they found nothing after 10 months. Bob Mueller with 19 lawyers, 40 agents, 500 witnesses, 2,800 subpoenas, $30 million, 22 months, does another 22-month investigation. They find nothing. So 32 months and they find nothing. But now oh. this big hearing, they're going to bring in Zebley to sit beside Director Mueller, hoping, the Democrats hoping, that he'll say something that can be helpful to their crazy impeachment effort. I have, I have to, as I rarely do, uh, argue with you about one point. They found something. Uh, they found uh, uh, someone that uh, needs to be held accountable for breaking laws, uh, for breaking the guidelines of the Department of Justice. And in every instance, it's a, it is a, 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 a member of the Department of Justice or the FBI who should be right now being prosecuted. Yeah. They are not. I'm sure Mueller would like to speak to that. Will he be given the opportunity to, uh, 
uh, well, a, account for the, this nonsense. I mean, it's no, it's a complete ruse. Yeah, no, you're, you're right. And I love what the attorney general said, Attorney General Barr. He said there was a crisis of leadership at the upper echelon of the FBI, and this is so true. Comey fired, Andy McCabe fired, lied three times under oath. FBI Chief Counsel Jim Baker demoted, then left. FBI Counsel Lisa Page demoted, then left. FBI uh, the counterintelligence head Peter Strzok demoted, then fired. These were the five key people. So there was a real problem there, not with any type of collusion whatsoever between the Trump campaign and Russia to impact the election. And uh, and is the House, are, are you House Republicans going to be able to do anything about the addition of Zebley to the uh, to the table uh, before your well, committee? Like the president, we've been we've been protesting this all day. I mean, again, a, the last minute thing that they spring on you. I have never seen it in all my time in Congress. Uh, even like I said. Even Secretary Clinton, when she testified, Cheryl Mills or David Kendall, her lawyers weren't sitting at the table with her. So this is not how it's done. So I've never seen someone actually sit at the witness table who wasn't, in effect, sworn in. But that's supposedly the arrangement tomorrow. We'll see when this thing kicks off tomorrow at, uh, at 8.30. At 8.30, what can you give us uh, an, uh, just a, an inkling as to how, what you think will transpire? Do you expect revelations? Do you believe that uh, Zebley is basically there uh, to uh, to keep uh, the former well, special counsel out of trouble or to create more trouble? Well, I don't know. He may be there just to, my concern is you only get five minutes. He may be there just to try to eat up time. Maybe if, if, if Director Mueller has a question and he wants to consult with him, I hope that doesn't count against your time because you only get five minutes to question a pretty important witness. Well, Nadler in, strikes in me as a very fair person, Congressman. Well, well, we'll see. Uh, what I'm focused on is the five minutes of questioning I get to have, uh, trying to get the information out that I think is important for the American people to understand. Um, so we'll see how it goes tomorrow. But uh, you, can, you can rest assured Republicans, I think, are coming there to ask the important questions and hopefully get information for, for the taxpayers of this great country. Congressman, uh, we look forward to it. I know you, you, are, you are loaded for bear. Congressman Jim Jordan, thanks so much. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you.